Have you ever dreamed of taking a picture like this cool TikTok drawing style and applying it to a new picture of your choice? Well, I did, and it has never been easier to do. In fact, you can even achieve that from only text, and you can try it right now with this new method and their Google Collab Notebook available for everyone. Simply take a picture of the style you want to copy, enter the text you want to generate, and this algorithm will generate a new picture out of it. Look at that. Such a big step forward. The results are extremely impressive, especially if you consider that they were made from a single line of text. Here, I tried imitating the same style with another text input. To be honest, sometimes it may look a bit all over the place, especially if you select a more complicated or messy drawing style like this one. Speaking of something messy, if you are like me and your model versioning and results tracking looks like this, you may be the perfect candidate to try the sponsor of today's video, which is none other than weights and biases. I always assumed I could stack folders like this and simply add old v1, v2, v3 and so on to my file names without any problem until I had to work with someone. While it may be easy for me to find my old tests, it was impossible to explain my thought process behind this mess and was my teammate's nightmare. If you care about your teammates and reproducibility, don't do like I did and give weights and biases a shot. No more notebooks or results saved everywhere as it creates a super friendly user dashboard for you and your team to track your experiments. And it's super easy to set up and use. It's the first link in the description. And I promise, within a month, you will be completely Dependent. As we said, this new model by Peter Schaldenbrun et al. called Style Clip Draw, which is an improvement upon Clip Draw by Kevin France et al., takes an image and takes as inputs and can generate a new image based on your text and following the style in the image. So the model has to both understand what's in the text and the image to correctly copy its style. As you may suspect, this is incredibly challenging, but we are fortunate enough to have a lot of researchers working on so many different challenges, like trying to link text with images, which is what Clip can do. Quickly, Clip is a model developed by OpenAI that can basically associate a line of text with an image. Both the text and images will be encoded similarly so that they will be very close to each other in the new space they are encoded in, if they both mean the same thing. Using Clip, the researchers could understand the text from the user input and generate an image out of it. If you are not familiar with Clip yet, I would recommend watching a video I made about it together with Dolly earlier this year. But then, how did they apply a new style to it? Clip is just linking existing images to text. It cannot create a new image. Indeed, we also need something else to capture the style of the image sent in both the textures and shapes. Well, the image generation process is quite unique. It won't simply generate an image right away. Rather, it will draw on a canvas and get better and better over time. It will just draw random lines at first and create an initial image. This new image is then sent back to the algorithm and compared with both the style image and the text, which will generate another version. This is one iteration. At each iteration, we draw random curves again, oriented by the two losses we will see in a second. This random process is quite cool since it will allow each new test to look different. So using the same image and same text as inputs, you will end up with different results that may look even better. Here, you can see a very important step called image augmentation. It will basically create multiple variations of the image and allow the model to converge on results that look right to humans and not simply on the right numerical values for the machine. This simple process is repeated until we are satisfied with the results. So this whole model learns on the fly over many iterations, optimizing two losses we see here. One for aligning the content of the image with the text sent, and the other for the style. Here, you can see the first loss is based on how close the clip encodings are, as we said earlier, where clip is basically judging the results and its decision will orient the next generation. The second one is also very simple. We send both images into a pre-trained convolutional neural network like VGG, which will encode the images similarly to clip, we then compare these encodings to measure how close they are to each other. This will be our second judge that will orient the next generation as well. This way, using both judges, we can get closer to the text and the wanted style at the same time in the next generation. If you are not familiar with convolutional neural networks and encodings, I will strongly recommend watching the video I made explaining them in simple terms. This iterative process makes the model a bit slow to generate a beautiful image. But after a few hundred iterations, or in other words, after a few minutes, you have your new image. And I promise, it's worth the wait. 
It also means that it doesn't require any other training, which is pretty cool. Now the interesting part you've been waiting for. Indeed, you can use it right now, for free or at least pretty cheaply, using the Collab Notebook linked in the description below. I had some problems running it and I will recommend buying the pro version of Collab if you'd like to play with it without any issues. Otherwise, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments if you encounter any problems. I pretty much went through all of them myself. To use it, you simply run all cells like that. And that's it. You can now enter a new text for the generation or send a new image for the style from a link and voila. Now tweak the parameters and see what you can do. If you play with it, please send me the results on Twitter and tag me. I'd love to see them. As they state in the paper, the results will have the same biases as the models they use, such as clip which you should consider if you play with it. Of course, this was a simple overview of the paper. And I strongly invite you to read both ClipDraw and Style ClipDraw for more technical details and try their collab notebook. Both are linked in the description below. Thank you once again Weights and Biases for sponsoring this video and huge thanks to you for watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Let me know what you think and how you will use this new model. 